think there's something quite powerful when we connect our heart and our minds to the work that we do. A part of that uh, development of New Zealand and maturing as a country is trying to reconcile some wounds and some issues and the idea is empowering some communities who are tribes and passing on some resources. We do live in a society where my Māori cousins are statistically going to be worse off than my Pākehā cousins. And I put a lot of this down to an intergenerational unpacking and uh, deconstructing of a Māori economy. The economy is an enabler. How can we reverse that trend and actually grow Māori economies, Māori community economies, so that we can actually see thriving Māori communities and thriving Māori families? So if we're empowering leaders and we're growing our Māori enterprises, we're going to start seeing enterprises that are successful, that are sustainable, that are at their core altruistic and that are returning profits to communities. And the advice that Māori tend to get from accountants is around go out and make money. And once you've made money, then you can use some of that money to do great things in your community. But that's the antithesis of a Māori approach, which is, well, we, we care about a flourishing community. We care about a flourishing tribe. So while it may be a very small tweak, it's a fundamental flip on the way that we actually think about the role and the purpose of economy.